All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the Vintage Zoo. Uh, this one is actually going to be a little bit different from the episodes I've done so far because we're going to be building two exhibits. So uh, I originally intended to build the one, which is going to be sort of a small aviary uh, for some tropical birds. But um, after I made it and recorded the episode, I kind of realized it was pretty short. Not a whole lot happened. Um, I ended up cutting out some stuff. Um, that was really wasn't all that fun to watch, so it just ended up not being all that long. So uh, I decided to also add um, a second exhibit uh, build into the in video as well. So you'll see what that is. All you'll know that is uh, from the uh, from the thumbnail. So yeah, I'll also be building exhibit for uh, some zebras. So and I really like the way that one turned out. Uh, both are pretty simple as you can see here this is a, a pretty simple little aviary. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is I actually end up changing these iron bar fences. I was going to use them and I really liked them. I think they were better for the theme uh, but I just couldn't get them to look right uh, in the area with the the way I had the elevated path here. See I didn't like that right there and I wanted to have like um, elevated like the iron bars continuing up from there, uh, but I I couldn't do that. All I had was this uh, um, this uh, what do you call it? Other like wooden aviary, which is fine. Um, it it seems a little too modern for me. Um, if you guys have another idea of how I could make that look right, uh, you guys can feel free to let me know. Um, but I just sort of went with that uh, for the time being. And now we're moving on to uh, the actual zebra exhibit as well. I took this path. There was actually going to originally be two aviaries. Um, one where sort of this path is right here, and here I'm totally struggling uh, with this uh, with this elevated path. Uh, there was going to be another one over here, but then I realized it sort of created a dead end um, that I didn't. Well, not that it wasn't the dead end. It wasn't the problem because this is a dead end as well. But it created all there was all this extra space over there. Um, that was just going to end up being filled with trees. That was really kind of a waste. Um, so I decided to put a little bit larger exhibit there instead, which ends up being the zebras. So, uh, and then the path itself will continue on past uh, over where the uh, where the bears are. I don't think I show that in here. No, I'm pretty sure I did that off screen. So, uh, but here I'm just adding all this grass to um, just sort of add an extra level of detail and. Um, uh, just more vegetation. I like uh, the way it looks with these uh, these trees and stuff. So, and I needed that lower level of vegetation, I think. So, uh, that is what I did there. Um, I do add a tree here in the middle, which sort of screws everything up. But uh, fortunately, it wasn't too hard to fix, <laughs> just by changing the uh, diff using different uh, fences there. I could disguise it, uh, even though the ground is all screwed up. But whatever. And now I'm just adding some trash cans around. Um, it's not my most exciting builds, I don't think, but they sort of felt this little area here pretty well. There wasn't a ton of space there uh, after I built the bear exhibit, so I wanted to make sure I could put some interesting things in there that weren't going to require a ton of space. So I'm just throwing in the birds. I think I used two different macaws and then a couple uh, toucans as well. So it's like there's six birds in there all together, which is probably a lot for that space, but again, this is, uh, you know, supposed to be set in the 30s so they probably didn't care very much back then um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do in the next one um, like I said you're always free to leave suggestions but um, I do have some ideas I just don't know what exactly I'm gonna do in the terms of like the order you know elephants and rhinos or something that I really want to do um, thylacine and some sort of big cat, gotta do a big cat, tiger, lion, um, leopard, something like that. Probably, probably lions, I think lions would be, would be pretty cool, so. But yeah, and I'm just gonna do uh, the zebra exhibit now, I sort of was doing a bunch of other little details, getting that out of the way, uh, but now we're on to the actual exhibit, and it's, it's really simple, it just fills this corner here pretty nicely, I actually wasn't totally sure here you can see I was sort of searching around a little bit, deciding what I wanted to do. Um, but I ultimately decided the zebras would, would fit pretty nicely there. So, And you'll see it looks, 
it almost just looks like they're tucked in this corner. It doesn't even look like a, an exhibit. It's almost just like they're fenced off in a little area. Um, and that's about it. And you can just sort of look down at them from this uh, elevated path here. I actually considered putting some uh, two different species of zebra because I figured at that time they probably didn't really care, really know the difference. Um, but there was such a like huge um, size difference between the two that I didn't really look right to me. So I decided not to do that. Um, and now we're doing the final walkthrough. Um, I think this does look pretty cool, the way it branches off to an elevated path. You look down, check out the birds. Um, it can always be nice if they did fly around, but you know, just the limitations of the game. And then there's this path here. The trees were like way overgrown, <laughs> you know, like um, spilling over onto the path. I did fix that. I moved them back, so it's not as um, not as crazy as it was but that's that's pretty much gonna do it for this one guys it's a little simple um uh, it is two exhibits which i think is always nice but uh neither one's real complicated so uh, but it does fill out this area nicely so uh you can leave your suggestions uh in the comment section if you like for other animals and uh thanks for watching i will see you all in the next one